Hey guys, so the Grand Staircase gift with purchase set has been released for quite a while now, but I have only just gotten this set. So I'm going to actually review this, give you my thoughts on this set. Um, this set has got a lot of praise, however I do not think this set is all that good to be completely honest with you. And you're going to be asking why that is, well let's get into the video to find out exactly why. Okay, so taking a look at the minifigure for this set, we run into our first issue. And that's the fact that this minifigure is not unique, it is nothing to write home about, it's not special. All these prints we have seen before in previous LEGO Harry Potter sets, and if this was the only issue with this set then it wouldn't really be that big of a drawback personally, but the fact that there's this amongst other issues really makes this a disappointing set for me. But let's move on from the minifigure and take a look at the set itself. So with this set, we don't get any unique prints either, no new parts as well. We do get 18 stickers though, and considering this set would be probably a $20 set ordinarily if it wasn't a gift of purchase, 18 stickers in a $20 set is pretty terrible, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially considering this set isn't an expansion, it's not you know something that can be expanded to our 2021 to 2022 expansion system. Um, it's not the right dimensions to really go along with those sets unfortunately and if it was its own diorama you know like the Star Wars sets that we've seen recently or the Jurassic Park set that we've seen recently those little, little like movie scene dioramas I would be okay with that but at least provide the black border that we see in those sets as well not just these like we don't really get much of a base we just get some plates it's not the neatest of um, bases unfortunately and other Star Wars gift of purchase sets have had that black base that black border when it's trying to replicate a certain movie scene and I think that would have been the right approach here if it wasn't a 2021 to 2022 Hogwarts expansion um, set so they have sort of not gone either way with this one they have sort of gone down the middle which just gives it a bit of a cheap and sort of useless vibe because again it can't really be used as an expansion but I digress um, I think the issue is well that we are paying 60 pounds at least on the aftermarket for this set even more in dollars as we're not getting any new pieces no prints um, no unique minifigures we're just getting a new and unique sticker sheet right that's basically everything that's new with this set and for the price that you're going to be paying for it on the aftermarket i think that's pretty ridiculous um and the portrait of the fat lady again it can't even open um which is a bit of an issue as well as the fact that hermione doesn't really have a place to stand uh, she only has a one place to stand and that's at the foot of the stairs she can't really be i guess you can balance her on top of the tiles um you know if you wanted to put it on the staircase but that means if you went to move the stairs then she'll probably fall off so overall it's just pretty underwhelming for me um i guess a lot of people like it and that's fair i think the concept for this set is really good but i think the execution in a lot of these areas is definitely underwhelming and yeah that's just generally my thoughts on this set so that about wraps up my thoughts on this set i think even the release date for this gift of purchase annoys me because this set was released for obviously as a gift of purchase on the 15th of July and the issue with that is because you had to spend £130 or $150 on LEGO High Potter sets only which ordinarily wouldn't be an issue if the entire LEGO High Potter Summer Wave was not released just one month before. Um, they could have easily released this alongside the Summer Wave, so those hardcore Harry Potter fans who are going out on day one, or at least buying all the sets within the first month or so, are going to qualify for this gift of purchase. The issue is, is all those people who bought all of the Summer Wave, you know, they waited till they rinsed the Summer Wave, got as much sales as they can, and to then to entice people further a month or two later, give people a gift of purchase to actually go out and buy some of these sets. Now, people like myself who bought all the sets day one, um, or even people who bought it just even two, three, four weeks later, everyone already owns the sets at that point. So it wouldn't make sense to spend another £130, $150 on more LEGO High Potter sets to qualify for this when they've already got them all. So it sort of punishes the hardcore fans, if you see what I mean, because those 
are the ones who already have all the sets and thus it's not really practical for them to spend another £130 on sets they already own just to qualify for this set. Like I said, they should have released this gift of purchase alongside the Summer Wave and it should have lasted two weeks a month all throughout June and then the hardcore fans would have got this as they bought all of the Harry Potter Wave where basically this was only really accessible to people who didn't buy the uh, LEGO Harry Potter sets initially, the Summer Wave and waited a month or two and then decided to buy some just to get this. It's sort of punishing that hardcore like high Potter fan community which obviously is an issue and again you're not getting too much with this set. I mean the aftermarket price on this set is over £60, I've even seen it go for over $80 and you're not getting any new prints, any new pieces, even the minifigure isn't unique and uh, the 2018 or 2019 I believe uh, Diagon Alley gift of purchase came with a unique minifigure, a unique Ollivander minifigure which made that set a bit more special. This you don't get anything significant in terms of um, exclusivity right, you get nothing essentially apart from a sticker sheet. So it's just disappointing for so many ways in my opinion. Maybe I'm being too harsh but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I've been Topic Bricks, I'll catch you tomorrow for another LEGO Harry Potter video. I'll see you there.